What up, everybody? Welcome back to this week's episode of Comp Talk. I'm your host, Todd Tams, and I love to talk about workers' compensation and all things workers' compensation. And so I wanted to share with you something that I learned recently from a podcast that we did. Uh, I'm trying to open up an article here. Recently, we did a podcast with Melissa Schilling, who is an employment law attorney at the Dickinson Law Firm in Des Moines. And we wanted to talk about all things COVID and what businesses were allowed to do legally and what they're not allowed to do legally um, surrounding all things COVID. Uh, we're getting a lot of questions about this, especially as businesses are looking at trying bringing people back to the workplace. Um, what does that look like? How do we protect people? And, you know, I'm fortunate that we work in a fairly small business. But uh, I certainly get the fact that there are major mega concerns with how you bring people back to work and put them all in back in the same space, especially if they're fearful of COVID and what it may do to their health. So one of the things we asked Melissa was whether or not businesses could require uh, their employees to get the COVID vaccine. And in fact, she said, yes, businesses can require a COVID vaccine and proof of a COVID vaccine as a condition of employment. And uh, I guess I really wasn't expecting that answer. I hadn't done much research before. Uh, I assumed that there were some employee rights in there that employees did not necessarily need to get a vaccine and uh, that your job could not be contingent on that vaccine. And so while we did that episode with her not too long ago, um, today, in my email, I get a bunch of insurance news um, that's emailed to me from various sources all over the country. And here is an article, and uh, it was written by the Insurance Journal. And it states, Judge dismisses Texas hospital worker suit challenge COVID vaccine mandate. That's, uh, that's, I guess that's a lengthy title here, but here's the gist of it. There were 117 workers at a Texas hospital and these workers brought forth a lawsuit against this Houston Methodist Hospital policy saying they don't want to be required to be vaccinated. So the Methodist Hospital has said, if you wanna work here, you need to be vaccinated, end of story. A certain subset of employees said, no, we don't. We don't like that. We're going to challenge that legally in court. And so Jennifer Bridges, who was a nurse and the lead plaintiff in the case had argued that if she was going to be fired for refusing a vaccine, it should be considered a wrongful termination. She also claimed that these vaccines were experimental and dangerous. The judge disagreed. The judge did not find any merit. He didn't agree with her at all. And he went on to write a five page decision and said, basically, he thinks that Methodist is trying to save lives and that they're saving lives by requiring their workers to have the COVID vaccine. And it's your choice to not whether you get one or not. And so it goes on to say, the judge said in his report, uh, you can choose to work anywhere else if you ex refuse the COVID vaccine. Um, if you take it, you can work at the Methodist hospital, but if you don't take it, I guess basically pound sand and find a job somewhere else. And this goes back to exactly what Melissa Schilling was saying. Businesses can require that their employees have a vaccine. They can require they can require proof of the card. Uh, none of that violates HIPAA. And the fact that an employee chooses to not get the vaccine, they may be terminated and it's perfectly within the grounds of that business to do so. Uh, Houston Methodist apparently called the lawsuit frivolous. The lawyer for the workers. Um, here's what's interesting. The lawyer for the workers who sued on behalf of them plans to appeal. And the lawyer has said the legal battle has only just begun. Employment should not be conditioned upon whether you will agree to serve as a human guinea pig. I'm going to tell you people, this is exciting because I think this is just the tip of the iceberg. Um, I mean, there's a large segment of the population that does not want to get vaccinated, does not want to be forced to get vaccinated. And if companies are going to require it, they probably should expect maybe some challenges to that. 
This is just one of the first ones that came through in Texas, but I expect we're going to see challenges like this all over the country. Um, so as a business, you really need to have an idea of what your plan looks like. Are you going to require that or not? Um, you may lose some employees right now. Uh, employees are hard to find. Uh, forcing them to get vaccinated may, may result in the loss of employees. It may not. I think you just need to look at your own workforce and figure out what actually works for you and what, what works for your customer base and find something in there that seems to make sense. But the fact is, if you're a business out there and you want to force vaccinations on your employees, you're perfectly within your grounds to do so. And it looks like even when they sue, you're probably gonna win. Now, what, what else is interesting, uh, I know we talk about a lot of workers' compensation stuff here, but beef up your employment practices liability policy. Uh, we're seeing pricing increase on that. Pricing has become very firm. Um, and we're seeing more policies pay out and it's for stuff like this. Whether the lawsuit was frivolous or not, employment practices policies respond when there's allegations like this of potential wrongful termination uh, for failure to get vaccinated. Now, I assume somewhere along the line that maybe we'll see some modifications to the policies on that. Um, that's a little too far in the future for me to even talk about that. And obviously this podcast is mostly focused on work comp, but it was just interesting to me that we not, we just talked about this recently. And here was a case that came down uh, in my email today that basically upheld exactly what this attorney said. Businesses can choose and employees can choose whether or not they're going to work there. But if you don't get the vaccine and the business fires you, they are well within their right. So with that being said, we're going to wrap up this episode of Comp Talk. Make it a great day and we'll see you again next time.